Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Carpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is deferred revenue or unearned revenues. What is the difference? Deferred revenue is how we call it in the US, so it's based on US GAAP. And unearned revenue is how international accounting or IFRS calls it. So it is the same, only two different names. And we are talking about liabilities, usually earned liabilities. When do we have deferred revenue or unearned revenue? Uh, they are revenues received before the company either delivers goods or provides service. For instance, I am an airline company and I am selling uh, tickets and my customer will fly two months from now. So I am collecting the money now, but I will provide the service only two months from now. So today it is deferred or unearned revenue and two months later I will recognize my revenue. Okay, and how do we do that? Let's go to our Excel file. If you are a regular here, you already know that. If you're not, I want to let you know that all our Excel files, they are free. And the link to download it is in our video description. So, how do we do that? Uh, Liverpool Football Club of Great Britain, a very good soccer team, one of my favorites, sells 10,000 season soccer tickets or football tickets, depending where you are. If you are in the US, you call it soccer. If you are in any other place, you call but Italy, you call it football. If you are in Italy, you call it auto. Tickets at 50 pounds each for its five game home schedule. And the entry for the sale of, of season ticket is. So, okay, we are today and Liverpool is selling the ticket today. So today, they are collecting money. So cash, 10,000 tickets times 50 pounds each, or $50 or 50 euros or 50 yuan. You choose the currency here. And the credit is, Deferred revenue if we are in the US or international cash unearned revenues. So, quite the same here. We only change our name. And this credit account here, it is uh, a liability, current liability if the games they are in the next 12 months or long-term liabilities if I am selling tickets for, for two seasons from now. So more than 12 months because Liverpool, their operating cycle is less than one year. Yes, each game is completed. Liverpool records the recognition of revenue with the following entry. So, okay, we have the first game now. So I am recognizing the sales revenue of one ticket. So if I am selling five games and I am recognizing one, I am recognizing 20% of it or 500,000 divided by five. So 100 pounds. So debit, deferred revenue. I am under quotes here paying this liability. I, how I am paying it, not with cash, but providing service and IFRS unearned revenues and sales revenue. So again, only a change of names here. And after this first game, our ending balance for deferred or unearned revenue is 400,000 pounds because we still have four games to provide service. Okay, guys. So Subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. Like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. If you have questions, just let me know. And you can leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.